Hello. Today, Wednesday, March the 30th, in our Lent Reflections, we continue to look at scarcity from abundance, this time focusing on the first banquet. Our reading is Mark 6, verses 14 to 29. King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name had become well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said, he is Elijah, and still others claimed he is a prophet like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised from the dead. For Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested, and he had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had been saying to Herod, it is not lawful for you to marry your brother's wife. So Herodias nurtured a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. But she was not able to, because Herod feared John and protected him, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. When Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, yet he liked to listen to him. Finally, the opportune time came. On his birthday, Herod gave a banquet for his high officials and military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his dinner guests. The king said to the girl, ask me for anything you want and I'll give it to you. And he promised her with an oath, whatever you ask, I will give you up to half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what shall I ask for? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. At once the girl hurried in to the king with the request, I want you to give me right now the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was greatly distressed, but because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he did not want to refuse her. So he immediately sent an executioner with orders to bring John's head. The man went, beheaded John in the prison and brought back his head on a platter. He presented it to the girl and she gave it to her mother. On hearing of this, John's disciples came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. <laughs> the feeding of the 5,000, which we heard about yesterday, is a high point in Jesus' ministry. So high that it's easy to forget it comes right after a low point. Side by side in Mark's Gospel are two banquets. One, gathered around Jesus, to which all are invited, sees people fed simply and abundantly, with much left over to bless others. A banquet where the king himself is host and servant. The other banquet is that of Herod, a very different king. <coughs> the food and surroundings are luxurious and only a select few are invited. Herod's banquet may be lavish, but it is marked by scarcity, a lack of grace, a lack of guests, a lack of inclusion, a lack of leftovers. Instead of finishing with shared abundance, it ends with the murder of John the Baptist. Herod had much, but always wanted more. The choice is stark. Which king would we prepare to follow? What does our choice mean for our further choices of food, friends and surroundings? A prayer. Generous God, help us not to be so ground down by the world around us or enamoured with our own importance that we fail to see your offer of simple and generous abundance. Amen.